Oh, Wait, I missed that. Say that again. I I am the fabulously wealthy, multi-billionaire, entrepreneur, and I am here to hear, along with my minions, to hear proposals for the Robbins House Interpretive Center, which I am going to, we collectively will be judging and deciding which proposals shall go forward. We will be judging on a scale of 1 to 10 the realism, the cost effectiveness, the interest generated by the proposal, and the appropriateness as to whether it answers the question how did people live in this house? Uh, first, here we have the proposal for the QR scavenger. We're all rich. Please come to the center. Yeah, Dan, go like. No, Dan. Dan, come on. Go over there. Yes, Mr. Kent, tell us your proposal, please. I have Manny bringing you great ideas. My project, I would like to present the idea of a QR scavenger hunt. This would be fun, informational, cost effective, and cost effective, costing almost nothing. Some opportunities would be to create programs, future tourists, and children. Just stop for one second. Mr. Cook. Yes. Could you come over here, please, and document this? I am documenting. Oh. Documenting. Document. You may, may, you might want to go down like on the knee over there. Knee, knee. I think so. Now, we're Sit. going to start again, please. Kenny, you look really good in that lighting. I'll watch. If you could capture my good side, can you capture my good side, please? It's this side. Uh, All right, gentlemen, we are here at the Robin's House of the Shark Tank, ready to hear proposals for projects for the Robin's House Interpretive Center. Up first, Mr. Kent with his proposal for a scavenger hunt. Mr. Kent, why should we support your proposal? Hi, I'm Danny, bringing you great ideas. For my project, I'd like to present the idea of a QR scavenger hunt. This would be a fun, informational, cost-effective way. Some opportunities would be able to create programs for future tourists and children. This would help kids today learn about the 1800s. There are threats to this great plan, though. I'm working alone, have lack of time and technology. Plus, the technology is glitchy and might have some problems. I will have to create some sort of reward for this project. But overall, this would be a great investment in your part, and generations will enjoy this. Thank you. Questions from the Minions? Nope. Stand there, please. Take your questions as we go forward. Minions? Minion? <laughs> Question I have for you, sir. What kind of uh, prize were you looking at giving out? I was thinking more of a pin. A pin. Okay. How much do pins cost to manufacture? Not that much. Would we like more details on this? How many, right. how, many, how many pins would you like us to support your manufacturer? If you are coming to us for money for this, for this project, what kind of money are you going to need? Less than $50. For how many pins for how long? I'm not quite sure right now, but I'll bring you that soon. And, and uh, so you said not very much money. How how much do you think the the QR will cost? Considering I can use a program that is free, not very much, very limited, if not at all free. What kind of developmental uh, time are you going to need in order to create your scavenger hunt, and how would you specifically do it? Considering these are the two rooms of the house. Uh, Considering these two rooms, how would you scatter these QR codes around the house? Why would you make it? Why would it be interesting? To do? It'd be interesting because lots of people, like if kids were going there and they were being bored, they could just do, participate in this while their parents look at all the boring stuff. Where would you put the QR codes to hide them? No minion. Where would you put the QR codes to hide them? No. Scattered around the house in window sills, behind doors. 
everywhere. Would they be well hidden? Some yes, some not. Would they be uh, intrusive to other